Today we are making the pumpkin pancakes. Two cups of raw oats, and I'm gonna boil five cups of water. When the water is boiled, then what I do, I just mix the water with the two cups of oats. I take a spoon and I just mix it, and I let it simmer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I take a strainer, and I strain, and I put the oats on the top of the drainer so that way we can drain all the water. Usually it will take about one hour. More dry the oats is, is better for the mix. The liquid came out of the oats is like oat milk. That is very good for your bones. Then with the mix with the oatmeal, what I do, I take four eggs and I put it right on the mix. And I take two tablespoons of pumpkin and I mix it right with the oats. Then I take a fork and I mix everything together, the oats, the eggs, and the pumpkin. And after everything is well mixed, I just put it inside the refrigerator. Now I take the mix out of the refrigerator. The mix has been in the refrigerator for one hour. I take a non-stick fry pan and I put one teaspoon of avocado oil. I turn the fire to low, and then I take the mix and I take two tablespoons of the pancake mix and I put it right in the middle of the fry pan. The key to the pancakes is don't try to make them too flat. Try to make them small and thick. And after you put the mix of the pancake on the fry pan, then you take the chocolate chip and you place it right on the top of the pancake. The pancake needs to cook for four minutes. After four minutes, Take the spatula and a spoon and flip it. And you cook it for one minute and you have a perfect pancake. This is a pumpkin pancake. Oh man, they look amazing. I can't wait to sink my fork into it. The chocolate, the little into the pumpkin, it's smooth, it really and is. And it doesn't eat the oats. You see the way I did the oats? They don't have the rough taste like oats. You know what I mean? It's not mm -hmm. raw oats. Well, what I like is because again, it's, you don't eat any syrup. It doesn't call for any butter, and it just stands alone. The chocolate chips work very well with the pumpkin. I saw you had a smile the whole time you were making it, so I knew I was in for a treat, so I really am enjoying it right now. I mean, look, uh, all that we get, you know, you want to eat something healthy, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you don't want to sacrifice the taste. I hope you guys enjoy and try this recipe at home and tell us what you think. It didn't require any butter. No syrup, no maple syrup. It was just bittersweet chocolate, pumpkin, oats, and a lot of love. It takes TLC, time, love, and care. Good energy every day, bud. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to find delicious recipes. My recipes, you're not going to find any white flour, sugar, or bad fats.